Good morning, dear friends. Welcome back to Learning English is Fun. In this video, we are yet again going to focus on mnemonics. Mnemonics mean learning English spellings, which are otherwise challenging through association. So here we have four such words. Apparently, the spellings of these words seem quite easy, but they are not so easy. They are a little tricky because this spelling is always confused with this spelling and this one with this. Let's decode these spellings once and for all effectively with the help of mnemonics. What's the meaning of this desert? Well, we call this desert and this one is desert. So first difference is in terms of pronunciations. Desert and desert. Now, what's the meaning of this one? Well, a dry land with lots of sand. Dry land with lots of sand. What, what could be one example of this word? Well, Thar, desert in India. But which one is the largest desert in the world? Yeah, this is Sahara, which is in Africa. So once you associate this word with Sahara, you will know that Sahara has got one S and so does this word desert. So it will always have single S because of this S. Now let's move on to this word. This desert means a dish which is served after a meal, usually a sweet dish. One of the best examples of this word is a Bengali dish which is Sandesh. Sandesh is actually a sweet dish which is served. Initially it was served in Bengal only but now all over the country as well as beyond it. It's a sweet dish which is served after the meal as a dessert. So Sandesh has got two S's. One here, the other one right here. So once you associate this word dessert with Sandesh, you will know that there are two S here. Similarly, there will be two S here in the span. So this is how this confusion about single S or double S will be addressed once and for all with the help of Sahara here and Sandesh here. Now, we move to this word which is canvas and canvas. In case of these two words, the pronunciation is the same, canvas and canvas. But meanings are different and so are spellings. Well, let's first see this word. This canvas means a piece of cloth to paint upon or to draw upon. That is used by painters and artists to make paintings and drawings and portraits. That's what you call canvas. Uh, so we can also say canvas is a type of sheet. Sheet of cloth. So sheet has got one S, which is here. And so does the spelling of canvas. So once you associate these two words, you will know that there will be only one S here. Now let's talk about this canvas, which actually means campaign. And what kind of campaign? Uh, moving from door to door, from street to street, from locality to locality, usually politicians in order to seek vote from the people. That is what you call canvassing. Sometimes people also mispronounce this word by saying, I was canvassing, people were canvassing, which is actually wrong. The correct pronunciation is only canvas, canvassing. He was canvassing, they were canvassing, let us go canvassing. So since this is from street to street, so we can say strolling, S-T-R-O-L-L-I-N-G, strolling in streets, strolling in streets. This is the example, this is the meaning of this word canvas. So here we have one S and then here we have the other S. So once you associate this word with this meaning, you will know there will be two S. Or even if you just want to have one word, you can drop this and you can just have the word streets because people will be moving about not in one street but many streets. So streets will have two S and again in canvas also you will have two S. So these are the tricks to remember the spellings of these four words and to stop you from confusing one from with the other. That was the class about mnemonics today. I hope you people liked it. Practice them until you have mastered them. We will be back with another video on mnemonics.